You may remember I did an episode at the end of 2022 sharing my personal and business goals for 2023. I got such great feedback on that episode that I decided to do another one sharing my 2024 goals. As you probably know, during the last quarter of every year, I like to sit down and set my personal and business goals for the year. I usually reflect on the progress of my current goals, and that lets me identify what I need to tweak and change for the new goals I plan to set. I don't always reach every goal I set, and sometimes I exceed my goals. But what never stops is the process of me actually setting and working towards goals. In this episode, I'm sharing my personal and business goals for 2024, and I'm also giving you an update on my 2023 goals. Welcome to the City Girl Savings Podcast. I'm Raya Reeves, founder and finance coach of City Girl Savings. I turned my life around with budgeting many years ago, and now I'm on a mission to help others do the same. I fully believe that you can enjoy your life on a budget, and this weekly show will focus on the intersection of money and the city girl lifestyle. Join me every week, along with some special guests, as I share my experiences, advice, and guidance on navigating life and money as an experience-loving millennial. So I actually want to start with my progress on my 2023 goals, personal goals and business goals, but we'll start with personal. And just so you are 100% up to date, I did a mid-year goal check-in earlier this year. It's episode 82. I'll link to it in the show notes. And if you already listened to that episode, you'll probably notice that I was off track on a handful of the financial goals at the time. So just kind of keep that in mind as I share my almost year-end progress with you for my 2023 personal goals. I am recording this episode um, a little bit before you're actually listening to it. So some things could change, but I'm not expecting much to just based off how things are going right now. So let me dive in. The first goal I had for 2023 was to work out and eat healthy five days a week. I definitely worked out my five days a week, but I definitely did not eat healthy as often as I should have. And if my memory serves me correctly, I think I remember saying that eat healthy was a little too vague. (laughs) So when I actually set that goal, I didn't take the time to get clear on what eat healthy actually meant. And I definitely should have. And that obviously played a role. I'm very much a plan, structure, tell me what to do kind of girl. So if it's vague, I just kind of do whatever. And so eat healthy is very vague to me. So that's probably why I just did whatever with my diet. So something that I'll work on in 2024. Okay, my next goal was to max out my Roth IRA, which was 6,500 for the 2023 year. I was able to max that out at the end of September. So that is something that I did get done in time, actually a little bit early. That was nice. I mean, at this point, that's kind of my only form of retirement. I had an old 401k through my corporate job way back when, and I had already rolled that over. So this is really my ongoing retirement plan. The next goal I had was to pay off our mortgage. So my boyfriend was going to come up with half. I was going to come up with the other half, and we were going to completely wipe out our mortgage. We did not reach this goal. I'm close to having my portion saved and ready to go but it's definitely just going to be on the radar for next year or as soon as we possibly can. The next goal I had was to practice French once a week. And for the most part, I did pretty good with this. There were a few weeks where I didn't practice my French, like whether that was on a longer vacation or when my mom was sick. But for the most part, I saw this goal through. The next goal I had was to journal every day. I mean, this is already ingrained into my morning routine. So it was probably a, an easy goal to set for myself. I don't think I really need to establish this as a goal anymore because like I said, it's already part of my normal routine. So it'll just continue and I have no issues with it changing. And the final personal goal I had set 
for 2023 was to read 12 books in the year. So six fiction, six nonfiction, one book a month. And this doesn't include like any audible books or audio books or anything like that. I was doing great with this goal up until the month my mom passed, which, you know, understandable, right? I'm giving myself all the grace. So she passed away in August. And so my August book, really, it took me through mid-September to finish it. And that pushed out my September book. So at this point, I'm at 11 books for the year, but I should be able to reach this goal. I'll be very close if I don't. But, you know, again, I'm giving myself grace for this one. And then as far as the business goals for 2023, we're actually only on track to hit one of the goals. And that is 50,000 City Girl Savings podcast episode downloads in the year. So let me just say, because this is a podcast episode and you're listening, thank you so much for being here, for listening to the City Girl Savings podcast. It is because of you. This is the one goal we hit for 2023, and it's a big one for me. So like, I am 100% content and happy about this goal. I just appreciate the support the podcast has grown and it's been wonderful. So thank you so much for listening and helping us achieve this goal. All right. So that's the progress for 2023. Let's get into 2024. So I have learned some things from the goals I set in 2023, and I've shared some of those lessons learned with you. And that has helped me construct my 2024 goals. So the first goal I have for 2024 is to hit 10,000 steps a day, Monday through Friday. Working out five times a week, Monday through Friday is, you know, similar to journaling. It's just like a part of my being at this point. So there's no need for me to set that goal. But, you know, I have tried to hit 10,000 steps a day, five days a week, probably since the first quarter of 2023. And I'm not always there. So that's why I'm actually setting this as a goal that I want to hit every single week of the year. And in addition, I want to incorporate a high fiber diet and cook once a week at least. So when I say high fiber diet, I mean 28 grams of fiber a day. And you may be like, well, that's very specific. So first off, quite the opposite from the goal of eat healthy last year, right? But also too, I went to see a gastroenterologist and this is what she recommended. So like I went full force figuring out exactly what I need (laughs) for my diet. So incorporating a high fiber diet, so 28 grams of fiber a day and at least cooking once a week. I'm okay with leftovers at least once or twice, especially if the food I cook is good. So that'll get me through. Okay, my next goal for 2024 is to max out my Roth IRA. So like I had mentioned earlier, the Roth IRA at this point is like my only form of retirement savings. So this is likely always going to be a goal for me. But the IRS increased the contribution limits again, which no issues here, but it's 7000 for the year. So My goal for 2024 is to contribute $7,000 to max out my Roth IRA. My next goal for 2024 is to start therapy by Q2. So by April 1st, 2024, I need to have started therapy. I've done therapy throughout the years and I'm a huge fan of it. When my dad died, I took therapy like immediately after he passed away and it was very helpful But unfortunately, about six years later, which is super crazy, I know, but grief is weird like that. All of my grief like just came back, but it came back in the form of unhappiness and like snappiness towards people close to me, like almost like a defense mechanism for losing someone because I had lost someone so close to me. So that realization forced me back into therapy specifically for grief. I don't want that to happen again, and I'm totally giving myself grace here, but I'm learning from my past behavior so I can avoid waiting so long and letting negativity bubble up. So with the passing of my mom, I want to make sure that I do things a little bit differently so that I'm not you know, waking up in six years and realizing that I'm still grieving or that I don't know how to handle my grief. So 
starting therapy by April 1st, 2024 is a goal of mine. Next goal, practice French once a week. I want to be fluent in French. And I like even hearing myself say that, like, even though I've been pretty good with practicing once a week, it's going to take a while. So I just, I'm going to keep seeing this one through. Next goal, plan and take an international vacation. So the last international trip I took was Italy. I mean, I guess the Bahamas, I don't know if that counts as international. I did the Bahamas in 2023, but Italy was in 2022. And that was such an amazing trip. Like I planned, we did like a tour of Italy. It was amazing. I want to do the exact same thing for like France or England or somewhere international. So that's a goal of mine for 2024. And my final personal goal for 2024 is to pay off my car. My car is 0% interest. So it's not like keeping the monthly payments is doing me any harm, but I'm so close to paying it off. I just want to be done with it. I want that money back in my account, back in my budget. The car that I had before my current car, which is a 2020 Lexus RX 350, it was my dream car. The car I had before that was a Mazda 3 and I had it for 13 years. I didn't have a car payment. It was a, a gift for college and not having a car payment for 13 years and then transitioning to a car payment for the past almost four years, I am ready to be done with car payments. So that is my final personal goal for 2024. Got a money question you want me to answer on the podcast? I'm starting a new segment on the show called City Girl Solutions, where I answer any questions you have for me. Money, business, life, you name it. Submit your questions at citygirlsavings.com forward slash QA and get your question answered by me in a future episode. And did you know that we have so many free money resources on our blog, Instagram, and TikTok channels? Find us across the internet at City Girl Savings. Okay, so now moving on to the business goals I have set for City Girl Savings for 2024. The first goal is 65,000 episode downloads. So this is an increase of about 1250 more downloads a month than what we're currently doing to hit the 50,000. A pretty big increase, but I think we can do it. Again, if you're listening, thank you so much for all the support so far. And if you have a friend who would love this show, please definitely share. You can help the CGS team reach that goal. The next goal for City Girl Savings for 2024 is to have 7,500 Facebook group members. So this is the same goal that we set last year. We did not hit it, so it's going to remain a goal so we can hit it in 2024. The way we're trending right now is we should be able to hit this, especially with some of the savings challenges that will happen in 2024. If you're listening to this and you're not already in the Facebook group, I'm going to link to it in the show notes because it's such an amazing group, amazing community. Like It's just phenomenal. So the more women, the more people we have in there in general, just the better. All right. The next goal for City Girl Savings or for business in 2024 is to have 10,000 newsletter subscribers. So again, same as last year, we did not hit this goal. We got very close, but you know, there's a process to building a newsletter, an email newsletter. You know, people subscribe, people unsubscribe, People are active, people are inactive. So, you know, part of the process of managing a newsletter subscription is taking care of all that, right? So, we got really close to 10,000, but then, you know, we got a lot of unsubscribes. So, we had to clear people out. And there was definitely growth in 2023, but we did not hit that like steady 10K number. And that's definitely, you know, what we're working towards. So, we're keeping that as a goal for 2024. And the final business goal for 2024 is to increase our revenue by 50%. So again, this is the goal the same as last year. We did not hit that goal either. In fact, in 2023, we actually had a slight income dip. So this was the first time in City Girl Savings history where our revenue did not grow. It actually retracted a bit. And I think You know, it has to do with a few things like the state of the economy, you know, how people feel about the economy, student loan payments, 
even personal stuff on my end, you know, a lot, a lot of the early part of the year, I was focused on my mom and like not focused on growing the business, definitely focused on, you know, serving my clients, serving the community, you know, doing what always needed to get done. But there was very little focus on true growth and innovation because my mind wasn't there, understandably, right? The theme of this episode is give yourself grace, but a result of that is decreased revenue. So we're turning that ship around in 2024. Our goal is to increase revenue by 50%. And it's definitely something where I'm in a better state of mind to focus on it. And combine that with the therapy I got to start in Q1 of 2024, I'm going to be a mental powerhouse. (laughs) So I'm putting the stake in the ground now. All right. So you'll probably notice that I'm focusing on less goals for the business or for City Girl Savings in 2024 and actually focusing on more mental health goals for my personal life. Losing my mom definitely put a lot into perspective for me. Life isn't always about putting your head in the sand and working hard. There are times when the work just doesn't matter as much or it can't be your focus and you have to pivot your attention. And I'm just so blessed that God and you know the universe slowed things down for me in my business for those months leading up to my mom's death so that I really could focus on her. I know at the time I was stressing out, like wondering why is this kind of happening? But when I put my faith in God, I know now, and I had faith then that it was for something bigger, something that maybe I didn't understand. And definitely looking back now, it was all working out to allow me to spend the extra time with my mom physically and mentally. So again, no concerns with the revenue dip, especially because I've learned that it's not all about the work. It's not all about the money. There are other things that will require your focus and attention. So just wanted to share that with you. Like I said, 2024, I definitely want to turn things around. And I do want this next year to be a year where I work hard in my business. But I also want it to be a year where I take more time to just be with myself, take care of myself and be with those I care about. I vow to work hard and I vow to play hard. I truly, truly love what I do for City Girl Savings. And I truly believe helping women succeed financially or just in life in general is like truly my purpose. But to help others, I also need to be in the best shape myself. So I learned that this year and I plan to honor it. So thank you so much for tuning in. Here's to a positive and successful 2024 year for all of us. Thank you so much for tuning in to City Girl Savings today. I hope you feel empowered and inspired to master your money as you make your way to your dream life. Make sure you subscribe so you're the first to know when a new episode comes out. I truly value your thoughts and feedback. So please leave a review and let me know how this podcast has impacted you. Can't wait to chat soon and make it a great day.